insisted that I unbox the new Microsoft Surface Pro. That's not to be confused with the Microsoft Surface Pro 4 or the Pro 3. This is apparently the Pro 5, but then they dropped the number from it and it's just got Pro. It's just the Pro. Whatever. Anyway, here it is. Microsoft Surface Pro, Windows 10, Intel Core i5. I've got the i5 one because the i5 one is um, silent. There is no fan in it compared to the Surface Pro 4. So this is a 256 gig, 8 gig of RAM, 500 bucks extra for the extra 4 gig of RAM and the 128 gig. Bloody ripoff. Anyway, model 1796 for those playing along at home. So this is the... Uh, this is the box, and, well, let's unbox it, shall we? Yes, I did get the type cover, Surface Pro type cover with it. That's also like 180 bucks, 190 bucks, or 200 bucks or something. Bloody ridiculous. Um, but, like, it, it feels really nice. Um, so I'll give it a... Uh, Give it a pass because it does feel reasonable and it goes in there with magnetic uh, clips and it's got the trackpad and everything, but bloody rip off. And the other thing is, with the new Surface Pro, you don't get the pen with it. You're going to pay like 95 bucks extra for the bloody pen. So oh, it's ridiculous. And they didn't have the pen available on the website when I ordered this thing either. It's just not available yet. You can't buy it. You can buy the bloody... Um, Surface Pro, Surface, for drawing on the Surface, you can't even buy the bloody pen for it yet. It's still, uh, you can still use the Pro 4 pen, apparently. You can't even open this stupid box. Anyway, let's get to it. Bloody ridiculous. So, here we go. Let's, uh, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, I got, what have I got in the bench? All sorts of crap. Alright, let's open this bloody thing up. Hang on. For those who don't like upside down, I'll flip it for you. There we go, look at that. Magic of Hollywood. Ugh, bloody. This is, what you, God, this is ridiculous. Who designed this thing? Ah, wow. I'm in like Flynn. Jeez. All right. Here we go. Sealed for our protection. So let's tip that out. What do we get? We get a bunch of stuff. That feels heavy. That's got to be the power adapter. And I don't think there's anything under there. So let's screw that. And what do we got? Microsoft Surface Pro. How to use it with your pen, which you can't get yet, probably. Bugger that. Okay. And, whoa, oh, that feels, oh, that feels, oh, Pro Windows oh, sticker on it. Look at that. Oh, Nerdgasm. Okay. So that's a pretty hefty power brick. I rather like that. It seems to be engineered superbly. So, and I've done a video, or I have done a video on the markings, or I will do another video on the markings, won't I? Anyway, sorry. This is going to really suck ass. I've done a video on the CE mark there. But uh, anyway, it's got all the requisite type approvals. That looks good. I've got the Aussie plug on it. As you'd expect, I ordered it directly from Microsoft. It came via DHL. Hello. And, uh, yeah. So, let's have a look. It doesn't come... It's only got the US... It's only got one USB 3 port. I don't know why, and I don't know why they didn't include USB-C um, either, which uh, would have had the fast charging capability. But, uh, anyway... I have not used a Surface Pro before, or I used David's one the other day. He's a big... Oh, oh look, it turned on. How did it turn on? I must have hit the button. I must have hit the button. Sorry for the glare. That's really going to suck. That's really going to suck. Just a moment. All right. Anyway, yeah, 500 bucks extra for the 128 gig of... SSD and a lousy 4 gig of RAM. Unbelievable. But I figured I needed at least the 8 gig. That's what they upsell you on. It's crazy. Anyway, what we want to use this tablet for is um, using the, uh, what's the program called? Draw? Drawboard. 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 PDF drawboard. It's a really uh, neat program. And uh, yeah, I want to do the uh, screen capture tutorials on the, it's got the, what is it? 2560 by 1440 screen. Um, 
or no, more than that. And we're going to capture it 2560 by 1440, I think. United Kingdom, none of that US rubbish. Yep, yes. Just a moment. Should I? Hi there. Oh, oh. Cortana, and I'm here to help. Oh, hi, Cortana. A little sign in here. Hmm? A touch of Wi Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Oh. You can use Hello. your voice. Hello, focus. Keep there we go. The oh, and voice. If you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. Oh. Uh, no. If you need an assistive oh. screen reader, what? press the Windows, Control, Control, and Enter keys at the same time. I don't have my keyboard operator. attached. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Thanks, Cortana. Your region is set to United Kingdom. No. Is that correct? No, I'm not a bloody pom. <laughs> Hang on, how do I? He wants you to say no. No. Hang on. Which region do you want to use? Hang on. What the hell? Australia, not Austria. Austra I no, no. no, I don't want to use Angola. <laughs> Australia. So Your keyboard is set to United to Kingdom. Would you like to stick with that? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Do you also don't listen to me. Do you want a second keyboard layout? Uh, do you want to add a second keyboard layout? Um, does no skip? I can do that later, presumably. Cortana doesn't like that I'm doing commentary. Oh, yeah, look at all this bullshit. Oh, yeah, look, I can read all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just, I, I know the NSA is tracking me. It's all right. I, like, I, I'm on a watch list anyway. It doesn't matter. All right. And cat videos as soon as possible. Cat videos, no. How about the first one? Okay. Any say Would surveillance. You like to use that one? Connect. Yep. Now type your credentials. Now type your credentials. Alright. You're connected. I'm now, connected to the Wi Fi. Come on. Why do you have to check for updates? You like you just shipped it to me from the factory, for goodness sake. Straight from the Microsoft factory. From Oompa Loompas. Like, it's practically Willy Wonka's factory and you can't have it update? This is nuts. Come on, just a moment. Yep. All right. Is she still listening to me? Hello, NSA, by the way. Shout out to the NSA. He's already now, detected that I've connected one of these, I'm sure. How would you like to set it up? For personal use, set up... set it up accordingly. We want it personal use, don't we, David? None of this work rubbish. All right. <laughs> I don't have a real job, so, you know. Email address or phone oh, that's right. Sign in with Microsoft. To sign in. I, you, I, I, I don't know. Do I have, I've got a Microsoft account, don't I? Oh, hang on. Bloody hell. This is ridiculous. Okay, I think I've logged into my Microsoft account. Windows Hello to unlock your PC quick as a wink with just your face. What the bugger off? Okay, hold still what? for a second. I'm gonna wink at the bloody you thing. Learn to recognize you. Make sure your face is centered. Why? It's gonna do biometrics on you. What? Want to I, set up a pen? No, no, I said no to that bullshit. Got it now. You said no. No. What? Do I'm forced to set up a pin? Am I? In case we don't recognize you, you'll need to set up a pin as backup. You can use Windows Hello. What? No, go back. What is this rubbish? Do you want to set up a pin? No. Oh, do this later. There you go. Right. What? what? Unbelievable. Would you like to automatically Save files remote? to OneDrive. Oh, uh, no, I don't. What? I think it auto-detected no. No. Part of setup. Woo! It's a me part of setup. The info I need to do my best work. What? Let Cortana personalized experiences and relevant suggestions, including when your device is locked. Microsoft collects and uses information. No! These are the settings that Microsoft recommends. Review them hmm. now and select accept when you're ready. Location. Get location based experiences. No. You're probably still tracking me anyway. Diagnostics help fix things. Uh, no. Relevant ads, piss off. Paid two grand for this heap of crap. 
And speech recognition. No, I don't want bloody Cortana. Tailored experiences with diagnostic data. No, I don't want any of that. So why do I have to accept? Why can't it be like a bugger off button? Like, seriously. Okay, that's the last step. Woohoo! Yeah. We need to get a few more things. Oh, what? <laughs> that was the last step! All yours. Looking forward to helping out. You lied to me. Said it was the last step, and now there's a couple of more things. What? Hi. Hello. Hello, webcam. We're getting everything ready for you. Sorry about the crap camera quality. David, too, made me do this video. It's like, you know, I don't have a real camera here. This might take several, several minutes. She said we were all done. Bloody hell. Unbelievable. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, yeah, the whole idea with this is that we want to do uh, use the pen thing and because uh, yeah, it's better than the Wacom tablet. I've got the Wacom tablet, I like it, but actually being able to draw on here is better and the draw board program, which I can't use on my desktop because I'm still running Windows 7 on my desktop. It only works on Windows 10 and I'm sold on the draw board program. Um, it allows me to annotate PDFs and, uh, and just use like um, the Smooth Draw program, just like Khan Academy uses Smooth Draw or whatever. Or a lot of people use smooth draw, and it's okay. But uh, the several minutes. Don't turn off your PC. Okay. So it's a PC. It's not a tablet. They say it's a PC. They haven't personalized the experience. You don't turn off your Surface. See, they haven't even personalized the OS experience for uh, doing this. I thought they were all Johnny on the spot, but let's start. Yeah, well, I think you said that before, didn't you? Whoa, there we go. Windows, we're in like Flynn. We're adding new features to Windows. They're adding new features already. Anyway, I'm in. So, it works. So I can just call up that, can I? And, so your can draw board comes installed, David. Should do. I'll type it in. Ask me anything. Hey, why can't I, why can't I type, how do you, oh, you got to, the keyboard's down here. No, hang on. No, the keyboard's not popping up. Why not? Why isn't this keyboard popping up? Why Why can't I pop up the keyboard? Yeah, I've, I've hit that. Yeah, yep. It's been stalling something to do with it. Doesn't work. Oh, that's the app anyway. Oh, there it is. Yeah, draw board. Don't have a bloody pen to use with it. Whatever. Yeah, I think it's still doing something. Anyway, let's try and connect this this thing. Oh, oh, look at that. Just snapped in place. Oh, isn't that sex on a stick? That's nice. All right. Wow. Neodymium magnets all come from China. If China uh, uh, screw with the supply of the world's neodymium magnets, we're all in trouble. I think that's where like 90% of them come from or something. Drawboard. I've got to buy it. It doesn't come in it, David. It says I've got to buy for 15 bucks. Free trial. Anyway, we'll play around with that later. But, uh, yep, I'm in. There we go. And the, there's the keyboard. So use the, yeah, the trackpad. There's no button for the trackpad, so you're going to do that stupid double-click rubbish. I hate that. I'm a fan of having the separate button up here, and I can move my mouse to where I want to go and then go bang on the button. Nice double click rubbish. Look at this. Ah, uh, nah. Anyway, it's a very sexy keyboard. Uh, it'd want to be for 250 bucks. That's Aussie bucks, by the way. I'm sure, you Yanks can get all this cheaper, and you're probably laughing at me. But uh, hang on. Let me. That's the extent of the magic today. Is the uh, flipping the camera for you? So there you go. That's the connect. Hang on. I do a. Uh, do a surface tension, well, no, it's not a surface, it's, gonna, it's trying to make a pun, but a test of if that can hang on there, how much force is required to before it'll auto disconnect. Is this a bad thing to do, David? It's fine. <laughs> it's pretty good, I can, like, free, I can violently do that, and it's not gonna, oh, yeah, there we go, came off, oops, I might have busted my keyboard, anyway, Drop test here on the EEV blog. Um, and it will it go back in? 
So yeah, let's let's have a look at that interface, shall we? If we can get in there, get in there, see that? There we go. There's the uh, magnets on the side, and is there five pin, uh, six pins? And it's got a felty back on it, felt back, so it doesn't uh, slide around, presumably. And oh, oh there, there we go. And this on the back flips out apparently and can flip out at one angle so that's like a high angle I'll bring it back to show you yeah there we go oh, that's pretty crap anyway a high angle like that or it can apparently hang on oh like that oh okay yeah it felt like I didn't want to <laughs> it didn't want to go and so you can like have a smallish angle like that on it so that you can pen. Apparently that's optimised for pen. But I get the glare. There's a lot of glare on this for the, from the overhead lights and stuff like that. So you've got to have your lights in the correct direction, correct dimension. Apparently it should have a magnetic um, opening thing. And it's got a camera on the back. Yeah, whoop de doo um, And does that... I thought it's automatically supposed to turn on, David. Isn't it supposed to have a magnet in here and turn on when you flip open the keyboard? goes to sleep. Oh, it goes to sleep. Oh, well, that's no good. And it's got a front camera, and you'll have to set up a pin. Oh, what? What, what I'm forced to have a pin? Well, if, if, so it oh, Windows Hello. Well, I can tell Windows Hello to piss off, presumably. Making sure it's looking at me. Mm -hmm. What, so I can't get in unless this thing's going to recognize my face? No, you can turn that off. Hmm. Don't turn that off. Yeah, but how do I get in without password? No? What is that, my Microsoft password? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Anyway. That's the Microsoft Surface Pro. What is it? Surface Pro 5, apparently. Because um, they didn't like the numbers. They probably did some focus group in the... And came out of the meeting all patting themselves on the back, giving themselves a pay rise because they decided to call it the Pro instead of the Pro 5. So, yeah, good on you. Anyway, there you go. Unboxing of this thing. doesn't come with a pen. don't know when the pen's going to be available. Um, but, yeah, like I said, you can use the Pro 4 pen if you want. Still the wanky new Pro 5. It's got a couple of extra features, some levels, and maybe some tilt detection or something, I think. Not entirely sure, but, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Cost a crap load. I think this is the most I've ever paid for a computer in my entire life. It was like two grand for this blade. No, more. Was it two grand for the computer plus 250 for the keyboard? Absolute ripoff. But um, like compared to others, I know there's others on the market that are similar competitors that are at a much better price point and they've got USB C for the uh, charging and stuff like that. I don't like that. I have to have yet another charging adapter, but I don't have anything else that's USB C anyway. They could have put in two USB ports by the way that would have been bloody handy and apparently it's got an sd card slot micro sd card slot somewhere and you can run a separate drive as that as a separate drive so there you go but yeah it's bloody expensive but it, it feels like the duck's guts feels really good quality and uh anyway um yeah i'm using it because it's uh it's windows instead of android i wanted to run windows stuff on here and using it as a portable uh laptop basically when I go places and also for doing screen capture tutorials and things like that. So there you go, unboxing the Microsoft Surface Pro. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you hated it, blame David too. Catch you next time. Hey! <laughs> Bloody unboxing and computer unboxing. What's this channel turning into? Unbelievable. He milked it. <laughs> I milked it! Catch you next time.